In this demo, we show how to deploy a snapshot to process server and how to use the process admin console. We start by cloning the latest snapshot of the claims review process app. After the new copy of the app is ready, we could create a snapshot and deploy it to process server. But before we do that, we're going to open it in designer so that we can change the instance name of the main process, which is helpful to be able to tell instances of this process apart from the ones in other copies of the claims review process app. Now from designer, we click on the claims review process. We move to the overview tab and we add some text to the instance name in order to make it unique. We save and then we take a new snapshot. We type a name, click OK. Now we go back to process center. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for the new snapshot to appear. Now we click install, choose the test process server and click the install button. The installation of the snapshot to process server is in progress. This takes a few seconds. We wait until we see the status change. Now we go back to the main VPM on cloud page and proceed to launch the process admin console under the test environment. We click on install apps tab and we can verify here that the snapshot is present in process server. Now we move to process portal in the test environment and we proceed to launch a new instance of this process by clicking on the claims review process on the right panel. We see the first step appear and we go ahead and claim it. We click claim task on the confirmation dialog. And we now see a screen of this first task. But before we continue, we're going to switch to the process admin console in order to demonstrate how to check on the execution of a process instance. We go to the process inspector tab where we can see details about this instance, which is currently in the gather facts step. Now we go back to Process Portal and click through the coach screens on the first task. The first task is complete and we see the second task. We keep going for a few more of the process steps, but we're not going to go to the end of the process in order to keep this video short. So instead we switch to process inspector again to demonstrate how to forcibly terminate the execution of a process instance. We click on the process instance and we click terminate. And the process instance is now finished. This concludes the demo.